Hey there here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. I might actually look like Harry Potter with this, but I might also get some wizardly power out of them. Because what hides in this class is the framework to use and create with AI on the ease. With features like translation, speech to text, visual recognition, image generation, and web search. Of course, all powered by AI. I mean, I usually review VR, AMR, and even smart glasses with so many on the channel, but what brilliant approached me uh, to check this out, I got pretty curious. Not because the buzzword AI, I'm not even a big supporter of that, but for the fact that they set up everything in a very good way with open source nature. And because they managed to cramp a little micro OLED screen, a camera and a processor in 40 grams pair of glasses. So what are these? Well, let's discover it together, the brilliant frames in this video. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little unboxing, as these will come in a pretty cute minimal packaging. Very environment friendly. In there, we're gonna find the case for the glasses with, you guessed it, the glasses inside. The charger, or as they call it, Mr. Power, to, you guessed the charger glasses and start the first setup. This, by the way, is also weirdly cute. Two different nose pieces, very important to be able to see the screen, instructions, and that's about it. This has to be the first time I received something on the channel without a cleaning cloth. I'm surprised. But let's get to the glasses, shall we? This really look and feel like a pair of glasses. They have a stylish look like it or not, that might be very popular during your D&D sessions or your Harry Potter binging, the Gustavus, but sure they're light and they come in three different colors, black, white, like mine here, and H2O, so transparent. What is really not like a pair of glasses though is the fact that they house an extra tiny micro OLED display on the right lens, with a resolution of 640 by 400 pixels that will be used to communicate with you information, tags, etc. On the back, that's where they house the batteries and the sensors because this will connect via Bluetooth to your phone to function. And also for the audio, as there's no speakers here. There's a camera, of course, microphones, and that's about it. Because what are these? These are AI glasses. So the idea is not to use them for entertainment, gaming, movie, or, you know, that stuff, but an actual AI-driven personal assistant. Being able to bring models like like perplexity, ChatGPT, Whisper, etc., always with you. With perks like translation, speech to text, generating pictures for you, or simply trying to ask any questions you might have to get an answer. By the way, I'm not here to give you a lecture about what AI is or even means, but the point is that these are an actual platform open source framework, mind you, to actually develop, learn to use, understand the capabilities of these new assistants. This is not, by the way, something for everyone. I mean, you can buy them if you want and use them as is, but the power is this is actually, as we said, to create apps, create use cases, and mostly being able to use something that everyone in the industry is afraid to give to developers access to the camera feed. I'm looking at you, Matt and Apple. Listen, I'm not a developer, so while I might be fascinated by this, I don't think I can totally use them at their maximum potential. But I can see that what we come next with this in the hands of the right people will be very interesting. By the way, little story about the frame. This is not the first thing Brilliant Labs works on. Uh, they actually made a monocle some years ago, and this seemed like a perfect successor with a more natural look and not so cyberpunky feel to them. So uh, they are not completely new to this, let's say. The out of the box experience was pretty much charge them and then use the Mr. Power to actually pair them with the NOAA app. Because yes, the phone will be the brain of our glasses, which will communicate with us thanks to the display on the right eye. This is a bit tricky to make it work right, as you might have to try different nose pieces to get to the right position to avoid chromatic aberration or even the image being completely flipped around. But you don't need to be a scientist to do that, it's kind of easy and then you're gonna get around 20 degrees FOV, able to display mostly text, caption and system information. So far it doesn't seem like you can display images on it, but apparently they're working on it. Text will float in front of you uh, in the real world, I would say at this distance pretty much, that are big enough to actually read without any problem and not too big to actually lose track of reality. At the end of the day, these are AI glasses, though being grounded remain the most important thing. 
Notice though that you will feel like there's something in front of your view, even when the screen is off. It's not the usual all day glasses thing, of course. To interact with them, you have to tap on the side and then start talking, ask the question. But remember, Noah will be aware of what you see, so you can ask things with the context of the visual, and that's what's really happening. And remember, the Noah is also connected to the internet, so it's gonna give you results uh, directly updated with that. You can ask for it translation on a menu, you can ask for information about the game, how to get past something, I could find something in a game, you can ask details what you're looking at to give you more information about it. Well, it's an AI assistant, so your fantasy is limit. And by the way, the assistant is completely customizable. So if you don't like the attitude, well, you can change it and make it yours. The app is actually pretty interesting because all the conversations that you have with Noah uh, will be shown over here and memorized in the app itself, even with visual inquiries. So if you ask to, you know, uh, create an image of something, you're gonna be able to see it there, not in the screen directly. And that's kind of unfortunate because the tiny OLED display should be actually colored, uh, but you see just just in grayscale for now. Also, you cannot take pictures, but they told me that this is for privacy reasons, so Frame doesn't display images or allow photos to be taken. However, if developers themselves want to enable that functionality, they can do it, no problem. And some are done so already. The app had different tabs to modify the assistant as you want. So with a simple system prompt, you can tell the personality that you want it to have, uh, the temperature and the response length. And this is pretty cool because there's no A a, B or C uh, assistant, but actually you make it as you want. So if you want to feel like Snake and talk with mailing and, uh, you know, save your game, so be it. <laughs> There's also the option to text-to-speech. Mind you, again, that these glasses don't have speakers, so uh, what you have to do is to use your phone or a pair of headphones to actually hear it. Back to the app, the next tab is actually the Act tab, and that's where my knowledge and understanding of everything just goes down the toilet. If that gibberish stuff looks amazing to you, congrats, you're the brilliant target. What is the point of them though? At the end of the day, you can do everything with your phone, right? Well, firstly, you don't actually need to get your phone out all of the time. I'm kind of a person in a campaign to use my phone less and less. That's the reason why I bought this all discontinued, like, Holdable, not really, that has no screen on the exterior, so when I get too distracted, I just can close it and, uh, you know, no notifications, nothing, I'm like, zoned out. So with this, the idea is that you can do everything that you're doing, just you're a tap of way to the help that you might need in some situations or the information that you want to know about something. A tap away when it works, because yes, I really enjoy the idea of the frame. These are just regular glasses, they're light, and if you're like using glasses, you might even forget that uh, you are wearing them. They get the job done, and because AI is always improving, the capabilities and the abilities of these will improve as well. The hardware itself is actually pretty impressive as they are fashion glasses that are actually bigger and heavier uh, than this and they don't have cameras or screen or anything like that. But you can tell that everything is still a bit early. For example, these AI assistants, if they are super interesting and fascinated, they are also pretty limited as sometimes they can just get easy stuff right. And that is something that Brilliant can solve. Is again, these are just the frame for your AI assistant. That was a good one. And the tapping sometimes feels a little inconsistent where uh, you have to repeat things over and over again. I think they're using the accelerometer to do that. So sometimes like even if you move too fast, you're gonna trigger them. If you're a developer, by the way, this might be the next thing as this project is completely open source and you have access to everything in these glasses to work with. They even have schematics on how they made them on their website, how to work on them. Tinkering is the keyword here. But if you're a peasant like me, these are for sure a cool novelty. If you're amazed by AI and need development, well, these Harry Potter glasses might actually be the thing for you. Personally, I'm already seeing crazy stuff online of some devs using them, so I'm excited on what it will come next, hopefully with the speaker inside as well. I just don't think I'm the target for this yet, and it's okay because it's part of the plan. So far though, these are the only glasses with a screen that you can wear without any problem, without looking weird. 
completely weird. <laughs> this costs $349 right now, and you can find them on the Brilliant website with all the description and the details about the projects as well. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below if you wanna check them out. But here we have it, guys. These were the frame from Brilliant. What do you think about this kind of glasses? Do you actually see a personal use for them, or are you completely on the other side of the AI bubble? I'm gonna be honest, I enjoyed using them, and even to show them to friends, they are still something uh, new for many people and I had all kind of reaction, some super positive ones that didn't want to stop using them and some completely apathetic. And to be honest, that's okay. Skepticism is very high and uh, I'm one of the skeptical ones. Uh, I'm still trying to understand AI myself and if things like these are needed uh, to make it evolve, uh, to give it a shape, uh, good or not, uh, I'm okay with it. Hopefully some very smart people can actually fill uh, this frame with some cool new scenario. But anyway, for now, okay. Oculus Repair. Okay. But yeah, here we have it guys. Let me know what you think about them in the comment below. And as always, if you like the video like, if you didn't like this video, like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, the join button on there. Let on further, also the Patreon. Thanks for the patrons. Join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.